Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas 2. So, as I said at the end of last episode, uh, I kind of did a ridiculous recording sesh. Like, I recorded, so I played for like five hours, and I recorded for like an hour and a half out of that. Uh, so what I've done is I've split everything up, but by the end of this, we should have a blast furnace. Which lets us get steel, like, really easily. We don't have to go through all of that gubbins, right? So, yeah, let's crack into it. Oh, oh, whilst we're here, okay, I was just looking for stuff, and there's a rolling mill. Didn't we need that? If we look up here, steel rod, rolling mill, we need two of those. So, one, two. Stick that in, and we get some steel rods out of it. Perfect. And, if I'm not mistaken, this comes from a steel rod. Did we just did we just finish the primitive coke oven? Other than the fact that we need fire bricks and we need a bit of mortar. I have I've been making mortar, so that's a that's pretty good. Uh, this is gonna take an absolute flipping age to get through all of this, right? Um, I mean we could just leave it, I suppose, and then we'll come back. Uh, you know what I should do? I should take all of the stuff with me, just in case. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I could almost do with a second waystone downstairs, but for now, I think it's fine. But I am going to use this over here. I'm going to put some of that in. <laughs> it's so weird seeing someone else complete quests. Um, as, uh, as I said, I'm going to try not to, like, actually use the quests until I, I've actually, like, done them myself, if you know what I mean. <sighs> right, that took me a while to get over here, uh, but this looks like a village, village thing. Shale, apparently, shale area. Um, oh, and there's a free waystone, oh yeah, undiscovered, I'm having that. If it's undiscovered, might as well nick it, right? What the heck is going on here? Muddy roots. There's, don't tell me there's, okay, ah, oh, I feel bad now, there should be a waystone right here, shouldn't there, wait, there's some glowstone, I suppose, should be a waystone here, but there isn't, uh, probably because the other one spawned, and then, obviously the, the village spawned in, there's some funky stuff that happened, but this is pretty cool, uh, what's this made out of, low mud, Oh, it's one of those, is it? Interesting. Okay, cool. Anyway, um, I'm only over here because I assumed that there was a waystone here. Uh, and there is a waystone, it's just not where I expected it to be. I mean, what we could do... I, I went and grabbed my, my miner. And what we're going to do is go find a graphite node. And, yeah, we'll do something with that. I will make this global, why not? Because yeah, we needed... I thought it was easier to get from where my miner was over to here and then use the waystone from here to go back to my base. So obviously this one we'll call the village. The village. There we go. And then, wait a minute, where's my other waystone? Okay, it's still there. Woo! That was scary. This is the other one, the one I found up in... I don't remember where that was. Oh, did I just make that? Okay, cool. Cool. Right, anyway, we pop back to base. Now, I do vaguely remember there being some... So, if we go all the way over here, this, I believe, well, around this area... So, there's graphite below, so graphite around this area, right? And it doesn't say it on this map. If I do this map, and we have a look over there... Oh, wait, it's all claimed. Nice. Uh, if we hover over, it does tell us... Oh, that's limestone. Oh, I kind of thought one of the... Ah, oh, there you go. Raw marble. So there's marble in these this area. That's what that is. Over here. Raw marble. In fact, we might go over there. That's the plan. Anyway, marble, I think, is where we're supposed to find some of this stuff. Um, I might start mounting some of the, the ores that we've got down. Just, like, spend some time and do that. But I'll do that another time, I think. For now, we're just going to go out there. I did put the uh, I put these bees down. 
So this right here, this flower, I didn't put down. The bees did. So the bees do attract flowers or make flowers basically, make them themselves. You've got to wait a while. So anyway, I've got food on me. I don't have anything to drink, but I suppose we can drink out of puddles on the way. I've done worse at university. So let's uh, <laughs> let's just get cracking and try and find some of this graphite. Right. Uh, apparently, over here, using one of the uh, prospectors that somebody has got, there is some graphite. So what I'm going to do is just get this all started basically I only put one charcoal in I'm kind of worried with this because what happens is this fills up and then so does the one below and then I'm worried that it just spits loads of stuff out but yeah there we go we are mining at least fingers crossed we'll see what we get it's quite slow remember so we might have to chunk load this and come back to it in fact uh, how do we do this one of these we shall do one of these. I don't know which one it's in, so I'm just going to chunk load these entire four. I can do an F3G. Is that not how you do it? F3G. I don't know what this is. F3? F3 doesn't do anything either. Weird. Oh, you know why? It's because of my flipping function keys on. Okay, there we go. So, it's in two different chunks anyway, so that's fine. F3G, there we go. Ah, uh, weird. Right, anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this, wait for it to start up. Fingers crossed we hit it. We might have to move it left and right and stuff. This seemed like a good place to put it. So, again, this thing is super loud. We already know this, but there we go. We've got our first graphite. So fingers crossed we get a bunch more graphite. But for now, we can just go away and just, uh, leave this for a bit. That'll get us a ton of graphite. I do need to set everything back up, don't I? Because... Oh, yeah. We need some way of getting create power. So, I kind of fancy doing it over here. If we can get a couple of water wheels, maybe the big water wheels, put them right here. And then we can tap into it and get ourselves up to the second level. That would actually make more sense, right? Because what we could do is on this side right here, this is where we'll put all of our create stuff. That vaguely makes sense to me. Obviously we can't transport um Yeah that's the that's the thing in it. We can't transport any lava. So we can't make the lava smeltery thing. Oh I forgot about that. Let me go grab all of the stuff. I've already been there once so most of it is pr it's probably already done to be fair. And I can put this back. So let's pop to the forge. Actually, not that far away, but that's fine. Uh, it is done. Hey. And we got a couple of extras. Nice. And then, for now, I, I pop that back. Sorry if I messed anyone's stuff up whilst I was, uh, whilst I was doing that, but... And there we go. And now, if we yeet ourselves off again. I need a better way. Actually, it's quite fun doing that, so we're going to leave it. Right, here we go. Water wheel like that. I'm going to get rid of the treated stuff that I've got from uh, from Firma Life right there. But there you go. That should give us enough power, I reckon, right there. I hope at least. Uh, and I have carved out a little area. Now, I don't remember how these work anymore. Uh, but if I stick one there, you're not going to like that, are you? No, you're going to have to. Right. I managed to get the water wheels down over here. I think it looks kind of good. It's like hidden in the side here. I kind of want to get the um, the shafts to go this way and everything. But the thing is, I don't know if... Yep, I thought that would happen. In fact, we've already seen that happen, I think, at the old base. So... Ah, I've got another plan. Nah, because it could always fall. Um... Oh, I would use andesite casings or, you know, the brass casings that we've got right here. Because I'm guessing if we do this, brass casing it, and then that's fine. It actually gives a reason for us to have, like, the encased, encased stuff, other than making it look nice. 
Oh, what's what's easier? Is brass easier? Do you reckon? I I don't know at this point. Is what is brass? Copper and zinc. Um, how did we make brass before? Oh, we did it in the uh, yeah. That that makes sense. We did it up up there, didn't we? So we do have a bunch of zinc. We've got loads on us even. Ah, but we've got a load of zinc, right? Which is okay, and that gets us two. So for each one of this, we get two of this. So we get like loads of igneous zinc. And also we're not going to run out of the igneous stuff, right? Because we can use the basalt. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some logs. So take some logs and we're going to strip them. So that's seven right there. And we have got seven of... No, we've got five apparently lovely oh i need my wrench oh you know what else is really good we've got loads of uh these flints right so what we can do is we can nap these together and make the pestle uh this one flint pestle so it's just like square square up and then up cool so square that one square and then up and then we can get like a bunch of these and that's the plan one in the corner, those ones, and that one. And then all we do is we combine. And then we can use these to smooch everything down. So one of these, I think is above, right? Yeah, there we go. So with this, we can just do... Wait, let, we might as well use the one we've got up. Like uh, this, and then use that one up as well. I knew we would need something about like this amount. We can stick those together, and that is 64 zinc alloy uh, dust, which we need to mount down. In fact, do we need to mount this down, or can we just fire it? Electrolyzer, apparently. Extractor. So we could use the extractor, and then that would get us the liquid, which then would go in these anyway, so... We might as well use what we've already got. I know we're trying to get like a bunch of this, but I believe this is a good investment. I don't even remember what it's called. Ah, there you go, pill pipes. There we go. That's already fallen in. This is probably how the person figured this one out, that you could get like loads of charcoal, not, not charcoal, loads of um, kaolin clay. In fact, can you tell us how you figured that one out? It's just, uh, it would just be really interesting to see how that was figured out. Uh, using this for kaolin clay, I mean. I forgot the piggies were over here. Okay, we need to sort some out for that. I'm an idiot. I forgot to bring the flipping cogwheel. I swear I don't do this on purpose, although it is kind of fun. It's not that fun. Uh, right. I'm actually going to go a different way just to make it a little bit more fun. So, remember, I'm doing all of this so I can get create power over here. I think that would be a good idea. And then, cogwheel goes like there. And then I can put the crank, hand crank, right on top. And before I forget, let's put one of those down. Okay. And it's solid. And you just pull it out. Okay, sweet. That seems to work. I mean, can we pull all of this out? All of this, um, how much is in there? There's quite a lot in there, right? Oh, crap. Uh oh. Only got two out of that, but we used quite a lot out of this, and there's like barely anything in there. Okay, it did all four, and then there's contents still in there. I'm so confused. Like we should have quite a bit out of this, right? Well, we can we can figure that out by subtracting. I lost I lost a few. Okay. I'm still, I'm st oh no, there's still some in there. Okay, let's try this again. I'm only going to do one. 
It says empty. It put all of them into that one. That's very confusing. And we can we can put two ingots in at the same time. That I'm, I'm so confused. You know what? I'm gonna do the rest. <laughs> I'm just gonna do them in in here like this. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Apparently, these fire uh, ingot molds are really good anyway because uh, they've got like a really really low percent chance that they'll break. Doesn't mean they won't like that. It it will never break. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, so weird. It is. It is molten in there. That's that's odd. Oh yeah, I remembered why I wanted to get all of the um, create power over to just under here. Uh, that is because I want to get my. Uh, why do you always rain? All right. Yeah, I wanted to get my um, millstone up and running again. I think it's kind of important. We need we need to do that. Maybe get my washer up and running again. I don't think it's as important. I thought a washer would be like the best thing ever, but. Uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. If I do fan, I know that there's been updates recently, so, uh, that was it. If you wash sand now, you get clay. So it has to be this type of sand, but you can get sand just by lobbing gravel. And it can be any, any of the types of gravel from what I'm hearing. So if we get some gravel, we can chuck it through some, uh, crushing wheels. They're made the exact same way as normal. So I do at some point need to make some mechanical crafters, which doesn't look too bad to be fair. Okay, I'm proper procrastinating now because getting all of the uh, in yeah, getting all of the stuff out of here is is kind of tedious, right? I should probably just make a bunch of uh, ingot molds. In fact, that's what I'm going to do now. Why not? I've got a load of clay. We'll make loads of ingot molds. Oh, that one broke anyway, right? So, <laughs> ah, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, eh, eh, so on and so on. We're gonna do this until I've got like a ton of them. Okay, nine, I think, is the the optimal amount right here because we can do that. When they get all the way up, we can do the bellows, pull these out, and then we can use these over here. Now, how many? Have we got left? Whatever that is. Yeah, divide, divided by... No idea, but... We can use all of these moulds. Oh, why the heck? Are you going to cool down because it's raining? I doubt it. Oh, this is good though, because I don't have to go down to, to drink or anything. Nope. Uh, right, I need, I need some sort of, like, that does work, I forgot about that. Okay, that is really useful, because what we can do is we just take this with us. And we could put it, like, here. And whilst it's raining, by the way, that, that will fill up, the barrel will go up. I didn't think about that, using the barrel. I like that. Anyway, oh, why are these still in here? Okay, I'm kind of back at this now, where I am. Okay, that seemed to have done it. Right there. Give me that one. Ugh, it's weird that some of these don't stack, and some of them do. Like that one there, we get nine out of that one, but... Whatever. I don't know if I got all of the ones out of this, but... Maybe we lost... We lost a whole third just because we were using this right here. Messing about with the uh, fire clay ingot molds. But whatevs, I think it's fine. Uh, we'll pop these in here. Right, now we can use shafts and we can make the, the thingies downstairs. You know, the this thing. Yeah, we can make a load of these. And if I got my wrench, yeah, there we go. That's why I wanted my wrench, so I could pick them up like that. Oh, ho, ho. So, my plan is, I might even, I'm going to carve out all the way along to, like, I don't know, here. And then we're going to go up, or we're going to go that way, and then up. I think that makes the most sense. 
you don't use the the casing. Is that is that always been a thing? I feel like I I didn't know that. Oh well, we know that now. That's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna pick all this back up and we oh no, come here. Thank you. And even though I really like the look of create stuff, I'm gonna still cover this up. Oh, why you do this? There you go. Covered it up, kind of. <laughs> you can still see it here. But that's fine. We can do one of those. There we are. That'll do us. So now we've got access. If we run all the way up here, we've got access right there. Might do something else as well, like. So Cassidy just jumped over <laughs> to me. Gave me some uh, wool, and now I've uh, I've got myself a sleeping bag. Yeah, uh, Cassidy was trying to tell me something there, I think. <laughs> now you can sleep. <laughs> Love it. Uh, there we go. Right. So, um, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to set this up, because obviously this looks, looks just insane, doesn't it? But if I put a chest here, then we can't access it, because this... Oh, I suppose we could do... Like a slab there. I don't know. I don't know if I like a slab there. Uh, we'll have to do one, won't we? And then I'll put a chest underneath as well. Uh, yeah, I'll, I like using these ones right here. I'll start putting everything else away because I think we're done with create for a little bit. Uh, and then by the end of the episode, we should. Oh my god. We should have this blast furnace. I don't even know if we need it, if, if, if I'm honest, but. Oh well, we're gonna have it anyway. That's gonna go in there, isn't it? Can I take it out? Oh, I can. Nice. So this goes there. Uh, you can't make barrels, by the way. I just tried, just tried to make a barrel, and it was like, no, thank you. That's loud. So we can access that one. We can access that one. Why did I do this? Oh yeah, yeah, that was it. Right, give me this. Thank you. If we pop over to our miner, let's have a look, see what it's got. So, all the way to the mine. Whoa, look at that. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful site right there. And what we can do with this is we can lob it in up here. I just realized we should make this a, not a chest. We should make it a drawer. Right, I nicked one of these uh, two by two drawers, and uh, that's where the graphite powder is going in. I think this can hold up to two thousand items, so basically a regular double chest worth. Because I know each one of these gives four. But it's quite slow still, isn't it? This this right here. We need, I think it's thirty three of these. So you need one here, and then to make this. Where is it? Multi block info. There we go. So one there. So 33 is how many we need of these bricks. 33. So if we round that because it needs to be, you know, 34 because it needs to be a even number because of this. So 34 divide that by 2 is uh, 17. So, yeah, I definitely did my math wrong. 17 times 5 is 85. 85 fire clay. Now, a fire clay is for every 3 you get, well, from every 5 you get 3. I don't know. My maths is off today. Uh, it's quite late when I'm recording this. It's past 11 o'clock. Well past my bedtime. Does this work? Does this work right here? No heating required. I could always try and set this up as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do that. Uh, I've got my mechanical press downstairs, so let, let's just get that up on the go. There it is. Press depot is upstairs, and we take, I don't know, some stuff with us. Yeah, that'll do us. Great. I, uh, I grabbed some graphite, some clay and everything. Uh, and if we grab... Where did I put the basin? I put it downstairs already. Boop. I was so busy trying to organise my uh, my inventory right there. Anyway, so if we pop up here, 
I actually don't know what this does, so we're just going to give it a go. Uh, do we have to set a filter? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I probably shouldn't try it with the, the fire clay. Did I just crash? <laughs> I just crashed the server. Did I crash the server or did I just crash me? That is the question. Right. We should be able to get in again now. <laughs> Mr. T fixed it. Oh my god. So this is a known bug with Terra Firmacraft and Create and, you know, all of the stuff. So don't do this in your world because otherwise it will be a bummel and corrupt it. But, oh, there we go. I managed to get it out at least. <laughs> so we didn't lose anything by doing that. Whew. Mr. T just said, uh, as punishment, uh, my, my hole should cave in again. Please don't do that because it took me ages to get this. Where are you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Um, I'll just say I already took it out. You yeet it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm using it. Uh, flipping thing. Right. I'm just going to break the basin. We're not going to put the basin underneath. I put my depot away. Why did these things happen? Uh, right, anyway. With this, uh, I'm just going to wait for a little bit more graphite powder. One more tick of this. And then we can, uh, we can get another set of fire clay. Although we did find out it was like quite a lot that we need from this, but that's fine. Right, I'm back over at the forge. Apparently this thing here will suffice for these unfired bricks. So, oh my god, a deer is at like 102 usages per tick. That's insane. Just one deer. Flipping egg. Anyway, Gravitas is really good on like lag and stuff, so... We do like we do like the fact that it doesn't lag that much, at, if at all, if I'm honest. So good. Anyway, um, oh, why, why did I do that? Oh no, it's fine because it's still heating. When this is done, I'm guessing it get it'll get pulled out and put down here, and there we go. We have got some fire brick. Kay has been around and he keeps saying like, "I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to bed. Bye." And then every so often he just pops up like, "Hello." <laughs> Oh, that's not what is it like this? Yeah, there we go. And then from there we need a file. Is it only one? Do we only get one from this? Oh poo. Because we need two, but we also need a steel rod. Ah, okay. So pop back to the forge. I think that's all of our steel gone. Uh, I I did say that we we need we we should have had another one. Another steel, but Oh wow, another couple of steel. But they got disappeared when uh, the whole building collapsed. Which is fair enough. We knew there'd be some casualties, didn't we? So, uh, I bet no one no one really... No one could foresee that my whole building would fall in on me. Just kidding, I bet everyone knew. <laughs> oh my god. Right, and now, is that... Everything? It is everything. There we go. We've got ourselves the primitive blast furnace. Lovely stuff. Now, we only need 33 more of these bricks. Or 32 overall. Right, not going to lie. That took flipping ages to get just like a little bit of graphite powder. So what we're going to do is we're lobbing them in. This is um, this is Cthulhu monsters. They aren't online right now. So I feel a bit, bit like happier about using their stuff. That sounds bad. You know what I mean? Like, because they're not online, they're not using it. So I thought, well, I might as well come use it. This is just spinning at all times anyway. Yeah, this is looking really good. And there we go. This is so much quicker. Oh my goodness. That is that done? Wait. It is done. Insane. Oh my goodness. Fine, I'm going to have to go get the rest of... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This might be fine. This might be okay. Is that literally finished? Is that done now? Apparently that's done. Sweet. Why do I get chromite from everything? Honestly, that, that's fine. Look at how many gra how much graphite we got. That's insane. I might actually like dot this around a little bit because we'd probably get a little bit more. Uh, let's pop back to... No, wait, wait, wait. We wanted to go to... Cthulhu's place. Because we can run over here. Lob all of this in. And then we should get... Like, a ton of graphite out of it. 
And there we go. That is a lot of graphite. Amazing. Amazing. Right there. Now, main question I've got right now is... Judging by this... We have a look right there. It's got a hole in the top. Does it need a hole <laughs> up the top, if you know what I mean? If it does, then I'm going to have to move this. Probably could have asked everybody if I could borrow their extra brick. Do you know what I mean? Because everybody would have... Oh, hello. Would have an extra brick for making this. Or at least I had an extra brick for this. I could have at least asked for a little extra brick. Ah, there we go. Lovely. So in here, I think... How does this work? We should, we should have a look. It says it right here. We can put in a cast iron ingot. So we don't even need to, uh, the bloomery all set up and everything. Cast iron ingot, we can give... So I think it's just two charcoal. So that's the raw iron right there, but... Does it have to? Yeah, here we go. Cast iron, two charcoal, and we get steel dust and tiny piles of dark ash dust. And it takes 90 seconds. Although, by the looks of it, if we were to use raw iron, which is actually relatively easy to get, it would take 40 seconds. And if we wanted to get a steel block, we could do that, but... That will take, yeah, a long time by the looks of it. Cool. Or we could get coke dust, which uh, is coke like that. Do you get that from the coke oven? So we could generally do that. We could do that at some point. Uh, I'm going to go grab my... I don't have any iron. That's the only issue right now. I turned it all into steel at some point, And then the steel was over in this corner when everything collapsed. Shame in it. Anyway, we've got some coal, so I can at least turn this into coal coke. In the coke oven. Stick it in like that. Nice. 45 seconds. That's not bad, actually. And then this one here, we put the coal coke in. Oh, do we need to power this as well? Do we need charcoal? I'm not sure. Oh, right. Anyway, I this is where we're going to call it, I think, for today. And I'm also going to get rid of this. And I think it's going to... It might cause issues, but if it doesn't, that's fine. Right, there we go. This is what we've got. I quite like this. The pole right in the middle there. It's basically because I don't have a jetpack. And I like doing my jetpack shots where you like hover over and everything. Anyway, um, it is just about becoming winter now. So I'm going to log off and hopefully skip the winter. But I don't know if that's how that works. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.